I just wanted to say, where were you when you heard the news that Marvel has struck a deal with Sony to bring him home to the MCU? <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming is gladly, I lost track, 15, 16, 14, 17 installment in this MCU universe where this is the first Spider-Man in the Marvel Universe. It feels so great to say that. A reboot of a reboot, but the first time in that we had the Sam Raimi directed ones, we had the Mark Webb ones, now we had these MCU ones. We had Tom Holland introduced to us as the new guy. For Civil War, he was good in that for the little bits and pieces he was there from introducing in his in his home to fighting with the rest of the Avengers in that amazing airport scene. So I wanted to see how can he live up? Can he have his own movie? He felt the essence of Spider-Man in that, but give us a two-hour length film to see if he can rival Andrew Garfield's great Spider-Man or Tobey Maguire's great Peter Parker, or, and can it be a hybrid of Two amazing things, no pun intended. And I can honestly say that this movie was so fun. This movie was a great welcoming for Spidey into this world. So glad to see him interact with everybody else. Having like Iron Man be sprinkled into here and whatnot. So for those idiots that were thought it was actually Iron Man Homecoming, except for those that were joking, it truly wasn't. But having him interact with him as like a fatherly figure was so so refreshing so fun to watch when you say fun to quickly elaborate you don't give that as a pass for a movie that is good or not good fun as in like the characters they all felt like they were having a good time with this movie the actors felt like they were just portraying these characters in a very likable fun way where they had background for us to latch on to felt like it was a good time because everybody was capturing the essence of how the comic book world of this movie is but also just giving us a good source material to at least latch onto. There is several ways to describe fun but in a way that's why I can describe fun for this movie. Sure I would love to see more of a relationship like what goes on with Peter and May how he refers to her here which is kind of cool seeing so, you know, how she really doesn't need that aunt title like like, come on. So I wanted to see more of that because we've seen that in the other ones, but I know they kind of want to make it different here and not try to rehash some of the other things. But maybe in Spider-Man Homecoming 2, they'll do something like that. But seeing him with Tony, that was good. Having him juggle, just go back and forth with high school and super responsibilities. This one did it really good. I like seeing the scenes where he's about to go, go do Spider-Man duties and then he sees that he's leaving the high school life behind for a second kind of regrets it but then he needs to go then when he's spider-man he just he he aspires to be something better even though people are telling him you're good what you're doing but it's that mission it's that story it is that coming to h for not for a kid in high school but becoming spider-man but seeing what it means what your responsibilities are at your age i feel like it was very clear delivering the message how he wants to do two things. He needs to be doing something. He'll eventually get to do the other thing. And let's talk about Michael Keaton's Vulture. Because he Vulture really means a lot to a lot of characters in this movie. One of the best MCU villains. This is just so crazy to see. For me, it started kind of with the trend with like Zemo in Civil War. Seeing how he got with the Avengers. Then seeing Eagle channel Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy. And now seeing him, how what he means for this world for Spidey's life for Iron Man's life you understood that he at least wasn't a bad guy from his perspective he's not too menacing but he's just at the brink where he's not losing his mind but sometimes those are more quieter or just more scary to be around with I feel like this Spider-Man was a little bit more safe to like what the other ones were especially other characters are in this this felt more really more modern but still it it feels something classic but also something modern and it it did it good in my opinion but i feel like as a spider-man tone the theme it was very more light whether it's the relationships the like the conflicts what peter has to deal with overall spider-man homecoming is just a refreshing take of this character just finally welcoming him back to the mcu 
I'm gonna have to give Spider-Man Homecoming an A minus. Let me know guys what you thought of this movie. Is this one of your favorites in the Spider-Man franchise? So all this in the comments below. And as always, Roland Empire, laugh, smile, repeat.